Afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the Black Consciousness Festival 2023. We are grateful that you are joining us from all over the globe on Zoom and Facebook Live. My name is Meredith, and with me are my co hosts and friends Kai and Lestia. We are from the beautiful Twin Island Republic of Trinidad. Hi, everyone. The Black Consciousness Festival is a global online platform for commemoration, celebration, and sharing of vital histories and stories that boost the awareness and the impact time, power, and practice. The festival is building awareness around how each of us can take the necessary steps for restitution and reparation. Today, we present one of our amazing cultural tips. We join Orville Expressions Hall, a.k.a. Dance Hall Professor. He is the artistic director for the Theatre Expression. He's been the chief judge on Dancing Dynamite Jamaica for 15 years, a radio host on Fame FM, and he's the creative director for Dance Hall Hostel. Mr. Hall received the Gregory Isaacs Foundation Award for International Contribution to Dance by Jaria in February 2020, and is the vice president of the Jackson Town Citizenship Award. Hall has toured to over 35 countries, teaching and lecturing about dance hall. He wrote and directed the first dance hall musical from then till now. Orbel Hall is also a writer and director. He has recently written, directed, and produced a title in the past 10 years that can be found in the expression they aid YouTube channel. Mr. Hall, thank you for joining us. We're excited to take it away. Thank you for having me. And thank you for that warm introduction. How is okay, so who do I have in studio? Starting from my right, me. My name is Lestia. My name is Kai. And my name is Meredith. Okay, so let us get started. What I will be doing today will be looking at just quickly the evolution of the Jamaica music and dance, where we started from and where we are now. Okay? So while we're demonstrating some of the technique of the movements, you will understand how our traditional folk forms influence a lot of what we're doing in dance hall. Okay? So we are going to start out with a warm up and then we will get right into it. Are you ready? All right, just show me your thumbs up if you're hearing the music properly. Thank you. 
talks that came from the inner city. So the first movement we're going to look at is a movement called the Rush. Just a second. Are you hearing me? Thumbs up if you're hearing me. Good, okay. So the first movement is such a pity I'm not able to see you, you guys' feet, but I want you to look at what I'm doing with my feet, yes? This movement is called the brush. What we're doing is this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brush, 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 that's it. Now, I want you to maintain this in the body, this bounce, because dance hall is about grounding movements. It's the movements that come from our African retention, so it's about grounding movements. So the body is always doing what we call the downbeat. Here, down, 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 brush, 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 brush. That's it, brush, brush. Brush, 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 brush. Now we're going to go forward, we're going to do eight counts on the spot. We're going to walk forward for four, and then we're going to step back for four. Here we go, eight on the spot, four forward, four back. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go again, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thumbs up if you're good. Great. Now, let us add to this stuff. When we're going forward with the four counts, on the fourth count, we're going to go on what we call a relevé. In ballet, they call this a relevé, when you go on the ball of your foot, yes? So we're going to step on the relevé, then we're going to sit, and we're going to step back for four. Now look at me first, and then we'll do it. We're going to do eight on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. But the difference when we're stepping back is now we're opening the hips, dropping the body, and stepping with the toes out and the heels in. So one, two, three, and four. Yes, arms going, push and pull, push and pull, one and two and three and four. Good. So, eight on the spot, four forward, lift, stepping back, push and pull. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we okay? Now let's try this with a little music. Let's 
try this one more time. Here we go. Four, 
dip. One, two, three, four. Rest, 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 rest. Ta, 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 ta. One, two, three, four. Thumbs up if you're good. Now this is what you're going to do for me. You are going to, you're going to do this three times. First time, um, if you guys see me looking to the left a little, it's because I'm looking at you on a bigger screen. So I can see you guys clear, all right? So I am going to do it by myself and I want you to watch. Then we do it twice together, yes? Okay, here we go. turn to watch you. Here we go. Let's see who is paying attention. Here we go. movements that formed legs movements 
or another collection that form scat movements. Yes? Now, these movements that we were doing, these are what we call scat movements. Yes? These are your scat movements. Now, this is one scat movement. Follow me. Right over left. One, two, three, and four. Yes? So, right, left, right, and left. 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 One, two, three, four. Now, at all times, this is what the base of the foot is doing. Yes? Heels in, toes out. Not here. Here. Yes? Soft knees. Yeah? Body is doing one, two. And you're keeping this bounce. So the body keeps the bounce. Yes? Goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Don't lose the bounce. One, two, three, four. That's this. Never lose that. This is the bone that you never lose. Right. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that is a part of scalping. Now, let me demonstrate to you how one hand movement changes the style of the dance. If you are just doing this, one, two, three, four, this is scanty. Yes? Now, if we do this with the hands, two movements here, two movements here. So your first two movements, the hand is here, second two, the hand is here. Yes? One, two, three and four. 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 This is how we celebrate dance in Jamaica. Bo, 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 bo. When we hear songs that we like. Yes? And we say, pull up. Bo, 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 bo. So this is called rock and pop off. Yes? So this is your rock, this is your pop off. Yes? So it's one, two, three, and four. Rock, pop it off. Rock, pop it off. Rock, pop it off. Rock, pop it off. So let's do just that move with the music. Thank you. 
So here's the challenge. Let's take it from top. Which move did we start with? Brush. Yes. Let me walk forward, lift, back, for four, spin walk, one, dip, two, dip, three, dip, four. Let me go. One, two, three, and four. Rest, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. Then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then salute, salute. Salute, salute. Good, let's try this. Instructional starting in the 80s. Yes, this was one way to get the people to interact. This was one of the ways to get people to have fun. So, in relation to the fact that we had dancers who were doing scat movements and legs movements, dance hall became instructional where the DJ would tell you what to do in the song. Yes, so. We are going to go to one of the popular dance hall dances from the 80s. This dance was created in 1988. And it was the original movement came from an insane man, somebody who was mad, somebody who was local. When he heard music, he would do this with his body. Yes, and they took that movement and call it Della Move. Yes? So this dance has to have a little bit of madness in it. Yes? I will demonstrate the Della Move and then we will do it together. I will teach you the movements. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
Here we go. So, the Della move itself is this movement. But I will show you the moves that we use to just fill up the music until we get to Della move. But the demonstration of Della move is legs apart. Bend at the knees, so the arms in front of you. Now, every time you pull that knee in, the arms come in and go out. One, two, three, four. Yes. So it's one, two, three, four. The count is on the release. One, not one, it's one. That's where the count is. The count is on the release. One, two, three, four. Good. Now the, the chin is nodding while you're pulling in and out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is the hint of madness. That is the that is a little madness that's there. This. Huh. Huh. Yes? Let us look at the developing step. First movement is stepping forward on the right foot and stepping back. Your left foot stays there as your grounded foot. This is your grounded leg. So it goes one and two. Two and four. And five. Sway that hip and let me see the flow in the upper body, which is this one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Let's do this with the music. I'm looking at you one more time. Here we go. Now this one's over the road. This one called the devil. I'm going to run. We're not going to be able 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 to run. So now we're going to follow the instructions. DJ said, one time gone was water pumping. That's a style of dancing that happened in the eighties, but it was more for females, yes? So the three styles, one time gone was water pumping. Heels together, rocking the waistline. One, two, three, four, yes? So. One time down with water from feet. Up with the hands. Cool and then. Then there was a dance called jump up. And everybody did this. Jump up, jump up. Everybody say jump up, jump up, jump up. Yes? So I'm saying. One time gone was water pumpy. Then they come with cool and then they jump up, pop, up, pop. Was done by me. Then he says, get rid of those dance. This is 1988, we have a new style. Then we go into Della Move. Yes? Here we go. Now this one's on the shows. This one's on the shows. And then on the line. 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 Yes, 
Following the instructions again. Point your hand like you're pointing on someone. Move your foot and turn it in a fashion. Wriggle up your body and get in a new motion. Yeah? I don't know if it's the same in your island, but in Jamaica, when we say wriggle, it means to move like a snake or a worm. Wriggle up your body. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's what the madman was doing. Wriggle up your body. One more time. Here we go. Now this one's on the This one's called the devil. How are my dancers feeling? You guys good? Okay, good. So we are going to move on to another instructional song from the 80s that was very popular and it is called Duck. Yes? And this is not the food, the duck. This is duck. If somebody throws something at you, duck. Yes? Now, again, this is very instructional. It is telling you what to do. Dance hall brought people together. Because when, when we were all in the parties, once these songs came on, everybody danced together. There was no, there was no competition. There was no bad energy or bad vibe. Everybody wanted to dance together. And the dances were so simple that it was easy to catch up without even telling people what to do. All right? So I'm going to demonstrate how these dances were so infectious because you only wanted to see somebody do the movement, and it was easy. I am not going to tell you what the moves are. I just want you to follow me. All right? Here we go. I will, I will explain later. Thank you. 
And I didn't even tell you what moves were coming next. This is how instructional and how happy dance all was. Yes? So, it's the, the DJ said, jump, spread out, and shake your body. Jump, spread out, shake your body. Jump, spread out, shake your body. Then he said, duck. Duck. You're right. Every person you feel wine and go down, duck. Every person you feel wine and come up, duck. Every person you feel wine and go down, duck. And then he says, Line up, line up, everybody line up, line up, line up, everybody line up. Right foot off, I don't want to see the lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, everybody lift it up. Left foot off, I don't see the lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, everybody. Put your foot in the ear like you're keeping up, keep it up, keep it up, everybody keep it up. Up, pop, 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 everybody. Put your waist in the ear, everybody wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. Everybody wipe it up. Put your hand in the ear because you come to mash it up. Mash it up, mash it up. Everybody mash it up. In Jamaica, when we say we mash up a party, it means that we took the party apart. We were the life of the party. So when we say we mash it up, this is mash it up. One more time, let's do this. <laughs> instructional. Now we are going to look at dance on movements that mostly dance on. Now, one of the, the good things about dance on is how it brings people together. Young children, um, teenagers, people in their midlife, and even old people. Because the movements were always moves that everybody could try and do these movements. They were what we call social dance, where everybody participated. But there were some movements that was really for the dancers. These were the persons who would come into the parties and they would show their styles. Yes? So it was, it was more of a showcase rather than a competition. 
Yeah, nowadays we have a lot of competition in dance, but in original dance hall, there was no competition. There was just showcasing. You show me what you can do, I will show you what I can do. Yes. So when it came on to dance movements, this was left for dancers. Yeah. Now one of the first legs movement we are going to look at is called horseman scabby. Now, I am really sorry I can't see your feet because I know that this dance, I need to see your feet. However, we will move on. We are working again with heels in, toes out. Yes? We are working on the heels. Yeah? The heel. So this is what is happening at the base of the heel. Yes? And the energy of the movement is to the left side, the left side. A number of our dance hall movements, the stronger ones, operate on the left because that is where the heartbeat is, that is where the, the blood flows, yes? This is what pumps our blood. So many of the dance moves are stronger on the left side. So the energy of the movement is to the left, yes? Your count is also to the left. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Yes, the move is called horse and scally. I am going to show you the technique of the movement, but first I will demonstrate what the move looks like, and then you can follow me after. <laughs> Enjoy a little more now. Now I want to see 
One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Yes? So we start here. Then we do stop, 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 stop. Then we start. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Here, 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 here. Ta ta. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now it is this twist that allows the waistline to move, that makes the dance focus on the waistline. Okay? Now, let me do the first heel and toe so you can look at the base of my foot and see what is happening. So all the focus is on the waistline because the legs are close and they're doing this. So you get a chance to get here rotating like this. So it's waist. Yes? Now the second one, the second one focuses here because the legs go wider. So the legs go here. First one is here. Close. Second one goes here. Now with this, you are not able to turn the toe on the diagonal. So you're operating from front to side. So you're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is where you move the energy to here. The first one was where? What was the first one? Waistline, here. And the second one is where? Here, all right? So I'm going to demonstrate now, I'm going to do here, then here, all right? I want you to observe. See that? So the second one is here, 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 here. It's the isolation. It moves from waistline to rib cage. Yes? Third one, here. Shoulders. And the shoulders keep this. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. Not the up move, but the down. Now with this, you are literally just bouncing on the feet you're doing. So it's no more a rotation. It's a bounce, 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 bounce. But while we're bouncing here, this is what is happening at the shoulders. So now I do everything and then we do it together. Yes? Are we ready? Here we go. Homework. 
IC comma. That's the second character. IC comma. So, where is the first? Where is the first place that is concentrated on when you're doing keto? Waistline. Second place? Third? Shoulders. Placement of the foot. First step for the first one is toe on a diagonal, rotating to the other diagonal. So it's one, two, three, four. It is that rotation at the base of the foot that gives the waistline the movement. <laughs> yes? That is what is happening. Who just ran past the camera? <laughs> Now, this move took us into took us into the 90s. Now the 90s had if I ever get a chance to do this again, I'm hoping that um, one of my dancers will be available to show the females the, 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 the strength of female dancers, some of the movements that you can use are very sensual movements, but they're not rude movements, yes? But for now, I am going to show you movements from a dancer that gave us, that brought back something very important in dance hall in the 90s that we lost. We are coming from a culture that is very pelvis oriented when we dance. We're grounded with our dancing and we use the body and especially the pelvis. The pelvis is used a lot in dance, in black dance, and it is not just dance hall, in black dance. Yes, we use our pelvis. Now, the magic about using the pelvis in dance hall in Jamaica, there are two ways and pelvis work happens two different ways for male and female, yes? Women do what we call a 360 degree rotation, yes? Now what I want you to understand is that dance hall and soca share a lot of similarities. However, in dance hall, men don't do 360 degree rotation of the waistline. In soha, men will wind their bodies. In dance hall, men use their waistline differently. Yes? So when women in dance hall do a 360 degree rotation and give you a full wind, men use their waistline in what we call the figure eight, which is this. This is what men do in dance hall. Yes? This movement, while women do a full rotation, but men do, or they call it the infinity sign. Do you know what the infinity sign looks like? Right, so the infinity sign, it is showing you that your waistline never stops because the infinity sign has no ending. So this is what the waistline is doing, like the infinity sign. So this is how, when you come to dance hall in Jamaica and you hear, the old 60s and 70s beats, this is the waistline. Yes? Now in the 90s, men were afraid to move their waistline. Gerald Levy, aka Bogle, that gave us that very popular dance called Bogle Dance, gave us a new waistline movement. Yes? Now this was now a bounce from left to right. This was now the new waistline here, here, here. Or he would do a circle, big looping circle. Yes? 
But we are going to start with some of the movements from the 90s that became popular by Bobo and the Roses group. Yes, we are going to first look at the waistline movement and then we're going to look at how that move evolved, where it is coming from, and how we got to that place using the waistline. Yes, before I play the Bobo dance, I'm going to play a rhythm to demonstrate the movements of the waistline. Thank <laughs> you. 
us just close off with some of the popular movements that's happening in Jamaica now. We're going to just dance and just have some fun. Um, Consciousness Festival. This is my toast to you. This dance is called Congrats. Yes? So, I hope everybody caught the dance. Here we go. This is how we close up. Thank you. That was a workout. We want to go on forever. Jamaican culture is renowned throughout the world. Tell us how ingrained 
dances in everyday life for Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora. Please, please repeat that question. Tell us how ingrained dances in the everyday life of Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora. Oh, it's, it's, it's a part of the culture. Uh, as I was explaining before, it is, a, it is what dance is developed out of what we do. It is developed out of things that we say. It is de developed out of everyday lifestyle. That is how dance all became a cultural expression within itself because we dance what we live. Yes? It's the things that happens in our everyday life that eventually becomes dance and it stays with us longer. And that is a part of what happens from our traditional folk form to where we are now. That's great. Why should more people learn about it? Excuse me? Why should more people learn about uh, this type of dance? Okay, one of the reasons why people should learn more about dance hall is because there's a misconception and there's a misrepresentation of the movements that's happening right around the world. Yes? Dance hall is not something that you can just watch on YouTube and think that you can learn the dances this way because it has some kind of cultural link to people who, who struggled and some persons died in the name of trying to develop dance hall. So it is, once you are learning about a culture, it is not something that you can just learn via watching YouTube. You have to do what we call research. The word research means that, that you should seek beyond what you see in a book or beyond what you see on the internet. That is how you research. Research is not something that is just put in front of you. You have to seek it out. So the fact that dance hall represents a group of people who are struggling people, it is important that you try to learn from the source. How does it feel to be part of the Black Consciousness Festival? How does it feel to be part of the Black Consciousness Festival? Oh, this, this, is, this is, for me, it is every chance that I get uh, on any platform, any medium, to be able to speak about my culture and learn about other cultures. It's, it's amazing, it's an amazing feeling. It's, ama it's an amazing feeling to be moving and watch you guys move with me. I wish I could see everybody that's a part of it, but it's an amazing feeling for me. It's, it's a humbling feeling for me as well. We are grateful for your demonstration and teaching. Awful, thank you so much. Thank you to audience for joining the Black Consciousness Festival Cultural Activities today. Stay tuned to our exciting schedule. Get more information on the beautiful people around the world that are collaborating to make the festival happen and register for upcoming conversations and activities at our website, www.theblackconsciousnessfestival.com. Our Facebook page, YouTube channel, Instagram profile, Twitter, and LinkedIn pages. Have a good night, evening, afternoon, and morning. And walk in pride, power, and practice. Good night, everybody. Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs>